It was on this day, 75 years ago, December 22nd, 1945, that the first prototype of the Beechcraft Bonanza made its maiden flight. In honor of that day, I'm going to recount some of the history of that momentous flight as documented by Larry A. Ball in his book, Those Incomparable Bonanzas. And then my father and I are gonna go on a flight to honor the tradition of the Beechcraft Bonanza. Hello, my name is Ben Weeks, Bonanza pilot. Let's go flying. Fire for us. <laughs> After many months of wind tunnel, fatigue, and static tests, the moment arrived for flight tests to begin. The first airplane to fly would use the laminar flow wing and the new Lycoming, the GO-290 rated at 165 horsepower. Vern Karsten, Beach's veteran chief test pilot, who had also first flown the 30,000 pound pursuit speed XA-38 Grizzly, was the natural choice for that first flight. After several days of taxi runs on Beach's mile-long airstrip, on December 22, 1945, just a little more than four months from VJ Day, Karstens headed the airplane that was to become known as the Bonanza into the wind and added throttle. The Bonanza was off on its maiden flight. Although a great deal of work remained between that flight and the time when production airplanes would roll down the assembly line, when Karstens set the Bonanza down 40 minutes later, Walter Beach had the answer to his question. Were our plans and ambitions for this airplane justified? Karsten's answer was, it's the best airplane we've built yet. I don't do flaps until I get down to where I'm going to take off. I don't like kicking rocks and stuff into the flaps. I'm not going to do a mag check until it warms up a little more. We're really just killing time. So what do you think about uh, the 75th anniversary of the uh, prototype, first Bonanza prototype flying? Never knew they'd be flying in 75 years. Yeah. I'm the first, is there a serial number under 20 or is it like at least the first 50? Some of those are still flying? Uh, probably. Oh, that's, that's crazy. First batch. There's a piece of firewood over there. <laughs> So I'm good if you are. Oh. All right. Have to be sure to announce when airspeed is alive. Most important part. All right, here we go. Twenty-three hundred. RPM good. Airspeed's alive. <laughs> RPMs are good. A little bit of gust, we're fine. A lot of gust. Um, Alright, we're good. Landing gear's coming up. <laughs> Alright, 
anxiety. I got up arrow. Laps are coming up. Gonna fly about 500 feet a minute. You know what I mean. Yeah. That was wild. I don't think I've ever had a more aggressive takeoff. No pressure is good. Everything's cleaned up nicely. About 700 feet a minute. Well, it's not bad here. There must just be some really bad winds off all those hills and trees. Well, if that was the southeast, that's when we get those bumps. Landing's going to be interesting. Well, since there were hardly any paved runways back when the Bonanzas were first being flown, we'll go over to the ranch and land on the grass. Since that's how these Bonanzas were designed. When was the last time you flew? I don't know, a couple weeks. Wow. They picked a fine day for it. Slow down. What do you mean slow down? One thirty. One thirty. It is. Oh my they said they're designed for what? Twenty-five mile an hour gut uh, updraft. Comfort. 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 It has nothing to do with the airplane. Comfort. We have different definitions of comfort then. Well, There's a bird. Man, those things are everywhere. When you're 62, your comfort level is different than when you're 22. I guess. Well, I thought that since the prototype flew and achieved speeds of up to 175 miles an hour, we should do the same. So yeah, we might have to find some two there. I wonder if that was level flight or if they descended. They had to die, the engine wouldn't go that fast. You get to 175? Get it with a variable pitch prop? I like? did 270. 280 dives. No, no, I'm not about the first flight. On the first flight, they oh. achieved, I, I don't know if it was level flight or just what the fastest they went, but it was uh, 175 miles an hour. Well, that was probably full power. You guys really lugging here. We're not we're barely going 125. There's no reason. That's perfect. I don't like feeling like I'm just gonna drop out of the sky. Plus, You're if you fine. ever had an engine failure, I don't have any extra energy to gain a little airspeed. That's a hundred. What did we gain? Maybe we gained a hundred feet. Congrats. Well, so what? What do you mean, so what? So what is I want to be able to find a field? Well, they climb 500 feet higher and make the same difference. Well, I was trying to keep it low for your sinuses, plus we're so close. Although lately I've seen so many birds down though, I don't like to get real low. A lot of those buzzards. Well, that's another good reason not to be doing 160. And now eagles. Man, you hit one of those bald eagles, that would be sad and potentially deadly. I thought you'd have a lot more to say about the whole anniversary thing. Where's the ranch? Oh, right, right there. there. Well, I'm just in awe that anyone will want to fly when it's this bumpy, you know. It is not that bad. I like the bump. At least for, for puddle jumping, not if I was on a long trip. Man, you notice it when you're barely going 130. It is a lot longer to go over to the ranch. Well, you got a big hip with. Oh, yeah. I bet you we're not even doing 100 across the ground. You'll make up most of it on the way home, so don't worry about it. So, uh, 
It might get interesting. My crosswinds are not always the most beautiful thing ever, but... Keep it on 90 on the final. I will. We got plenty of runway. Oh, let's see how it kicks us around when we go full flat. Here is down. We're going to stay on the right for this. We'll take off on the left. And we'll stay on 90 or better. Pop is in higher PM. Make sure it's full rich. Laps are down and it's been gentle with us so far. Now I'm kind of high. You guys have really miserable depth perception. I decided to bank a whole little power. There, right there. Hi, we're pretty high, but that's all right. I got some extra airspeed. Wait, okay. we're fine. And we we got it made, and the wind's being real nice to us, so. Wow. Nice float there, but that was unbelievably. I've got it, Dad. Hands off the controls. I do not need your help. Oh, we had to have that in the video. <laughs> Why would you do that? I am not your student anymore. I do not need your assistance on the landing. It was a perfect landing. on the left, we got plenty of fuel on the left, our mixture is full rich, our gear is definitely down, our prop is in high RPM, I see the runway, I just gotta get there. And it always just feels like you're barely moving, there's the headwind. Right side, that gives me plenty of time to uh, calibrate. I could have cut it a lot shorter. How much did it come open? for birds, that's my primary concern. How can I hurt you? Maybe you're fine. Alright, if it starts kicking us real bad, we'll just full power, go around. I think you're hot. We're fine. We're fine. I 
like where we're at with sync rate. We're plenty fast. You go. You go. Okay. That was pretty nice for how gusty it was. Laps up one finger. Man, that wind helps you stop like crazy. There, I just put on some brakes. Barely any. does it. We had a nice little flight. It was a lot of fun, kind of windy and bumpy, but that's okay. Uh, I hope that all you Beechcraft owners, especially the V-Tail owners, I hope you had a chance to take it out and fly it. And, uh, it's really cool that it's been 75 years uh, of V-Tail Bonanzas flying. Um, so all the rest of you, I'd consider going and getting your pilot's license. Um, what better time than a new year to start a resolution to uh, become a pilot? We need more people in general aviation. Until next time, guys, I'm Ben Weeks, Bonanza Pilot, and I'll see you in the next one. Have you ever wanted to learn to fly to see the world from a new perspective? Has the idea of flying one of these been a life goal of yours or something you just came up with? Hi, my name is John. I am the owner and founder of Elevation Adventures Online Ground School. And I wanna personally invite you to join me in this amazing journey. In our online ground school, you will meet with an instructor in small class sizes or even one-on-one -on -one to learn everything you need to pass your FAA written test, the oral portion of your practical check ride, and to be a safe, competent pilot so you can really enjoy everything that is aviation.